Hey guys, and welcome to me with in this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to talk about the face mess with media pipe. So we're going to use the media pipe module and framework that I showed you in the last video as well, where we did the face detection uh, with this media pipe here. But in this video here, we're going to do actual like face mess detection. So we're going to detect different kind of like features in the faces, and we're actually like going to create a face mess uh, with this machine learning solution here from media pipe. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server. I'll link to it down in the description here, and you come join us, chat with us about computer vision, deep learning, and so on. You can also become a member of the channel here if you want to support the channel like even more than you're currently doing uh, with a small monthly fee and everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So we're not into Sublime Text here and I'm going to show you how we can actually like set up this face of mesh detection here with media pipe and OpenCV. We're going to convert it back and, and actually like process the image, pass it through the machine learning solution or like the neural network. And then we're going to do the different kind of stuff with the detections uh, of our face message. So in this video here, I'm going to show you how we can set it up and how we can play around with it, get the different kind of values, the, the actual coordinates of the face points uh, that we're going to detect in the face mesh. So first of all here, we're going to, to actually like uh, just initialize these different kind of modules uh, that we did in the last video as well with the, with the, both the drawing and also for the face mesh. So first of all here, we're going to create like the face mesh object that we're going to use later on to actually like do the face uh, mesh detection. So first of all here, we have this MP underscore face mesh and we set that equal to the MP. So we are using the media pipe uh, module up here. So we have MP dot solutions because we know that all of the different kind of things is built into this uh, solution uh, method or class here. So we're actually like inside this solutions here now and then we can just go in here say dot and then we can actually like just take the fish face mesh. So now we have actually like initialized uh, the face mesh uh, detector that we're going to use later on where we actually like going to pass our image from OpenCV uh, through this process of the face mesh here and then we're going to get out all the all the points for our face mesh that we're detecting in the image frame. So to be able to actually like draw what is going on in our face mesh, mesh, mesh later on in OpenCV, we're also going to initialize this object here for the actual like drawing tools that we're going to use. So we're going to have MP underscore uh, drawing here as well. And we're just going to, to use the MP module here again and inside solutions. And then we know that we have this drawing utilities uh, that we use in the last videos as, uh, as well. So we have this drawing underscore utils and we can then use that later on to actually like draw the face mesh that we're detecting. So we also need some drawing uh, specifications down here that we can uh, that we can set like for example the thickness and also the, the radius of the circle of these different kind of like face meshes or the features that we're detecting in the faces. So we're just going to set up this uh, drawing underscore spec here. So so the spec for our drawings and we're going to set that equal to MP drawing that we just initialized an object up, uh, up here uh, above. And then we're going to have this and we're going to call this method here drawing specs. So we, it is called drawing specs with no underscore, so like this. And then we're going to set the thickness. So we can actually like set the thickness of the, of the points or in the face meshes and also the, the, radius, uh, the radius of the circle. So we're just going to type in here thickness and we're going to set the thickness equal to one. And then we can also specify the circle radius here in the specifications. So we have this circle radius and we set the equal, it, that is radius equal to one in this example here. So now we actually like to set up everything we need for and, and initialize the objects that we're going to need to actually like be able to, to, to take the face mesh uh, off the image or like off the faces that we're actually like going to, to show with our camera where we're going to load in each individual frames. We're going to pass that frame uh, through the machine learning solution. It will go, it's going to find the face meshes. And then after that, we're going to use the MP drawing utilities here to actually like draw that uh, face mesh uh, in an OpenCV window. Then when we have set up everything here, we can go down here and then we can open up the video capture here. So the webcam that we're going to load in the images from uh, in, in from that we're going to actually like uh, detect these face messages here in the image. So then we can go down here and actually like open up the face mesh detector uh, detector that we just initialized up here. So we're going to have with here and then we have MP underscore face mesh that we just initialized up here with an object. And then we're going to call this method here inside of this object that we just initialized uh, so we're going to set up some different kind of specifications here for the face mesh detector. So we're going to set a minimum detection confidence here. And, and these are just some of the parameters that I showed you in the last video as well, where we have these different kind of like confidences. If, if the confidence is over under some threshold, if we're going to actually like display the ad as a, as a face mesh, if we're going to detect it as a face mesh, if it's over this, uh, if it's over this confidence uh, threshold that we set up here in the initialization. So we're going to set the minimum detection confidence here to point uh, to, to, to point 0.5, and we're also going to have a minimum tracking co uh, co confidence score here, which we're also going to just going to set to uh, point, point 0.5 here. 
and then we're going to open it up here with face mesh so we can then just use face mesh uh, later on here when we're actually like going to pass our image through the process method uh, in this face method uh, module here so then we go down here and we can just have this while loop here. So as long as we're reading in images or like as long as our capture is opened uh, with our webcam, then we're just going to load in uh, these individual frames here one by one. So to actually like read in frame here, we just have this image here that we set equal to the capture. So the capture is the actual webcam that we've opened up. And then we're going to call this method here read. So we're actually like reading in an image from our webcam and then we're going to store it if it, if it was a success. And we're going to store the actual image that we're loading in in this image variable here that we can then la use later on to do some conversion between RGB and BGR and then also pass it to our uh, face mesh detector. So second thing here we're going to do we, is that we're just going to start a timer so we can actually like time how long it takes to actually like do all of these operations on our image and how like efficient and, and, and how good performance does this face mesh detector actually like have. And then at the end we're going to show the actual like FPS so like the number of FPS that we get with running this um, algorithm here or like this face, dete uh, face mesh detector on a common CPU or like just a standard CPU. So this is one of the benefits with this media pipe module here is that th it is really well optimized for common hardware and we can run all of these different kind of detectors both for fa face message uh, face detection uh, hand detection and stuff like that on a and standard computer with a common cpu so so it's really nice and cool and very efficient uh, module that we're going to use so after we have done that we can actually like we need to convert the, the image from pgr to rgb and then first of all we're going to like flip the image horizontally uh, for ladder like self view display so this is just like a standard procedure that we, that we have to do before we're passing our image through this uh, process function down here at the end so first of all we're just going to use this cvt color here so we're going to convert the, the um, um the, the image from bgr to rgb because uh, when we're loading in the image with OpenCV, it actually like defaults to bgr but this uh, method here or like this machine learning solution here it is operating with rgb uh, images so we need to convert that um to rgb first we're going to process the image and then we're going to convert it back later on as well then we can also actually like improve the performance when we're going to process this image here so this is like an optional mark here that, that the image is not writable to, uh, so we're actually like passing the image by reference so that means that we can try to like it, it improves the performance a bit when we're, when we're setting this writable here equal to four false before we're actually like processing the image and then after that we can actually like set uh, set it equal to true again so we can now actually like write to our image and it is not passed as a reference anymore so this is just like a small optimization step that can improve the performance uh, a little bit so now we're going to process the actual image here so we actually like get the results or the face messages that we're detecting in our image frame so we're just going to set the results equal here like this result variable here equal to the face mess so this was the face mess that we opened up here uh, with this uh, uh, with this object here that we initialized with these different kind of like configurations and then we're just going to call this a method here process and then we're going to pass in the image that we want to process and then all of the different kind of like results or like all the face messages and features that we're detecting uh, from the faces in the image we're going to store all of this all of that information here in this results um, in this results um, variable here that we can then display and do some different kind of stuff with to actually like be able to show the face mess later on. Then we just set this writable here equal to true again, and we're going to our image back as I already mentioned uh, from RGB to BGR, so we can actually like display our image and what is going on in our image uh, in OpenCV here as well again. So when we have done that, we can actually like go down here and then we're actually like going to do something with the results from like the landmarks or like the features that were detected in our face match. So we're going to go down here and check like if the results here dot multi uh, multi uh, it's called multi face landmarks. And we're just here, we're just checking if we're actually like detecting some multi face landmarks here um, in our image frame that we're passing through. Uh, this process function up here and then if there's any results here and we have detected a face mesh in in the image then we can actually like just have a for loop that is running through all the different kind of like face landmarks uh, in our for loop and then we can do different kind of stuff like uh, uh, writing it out or like uh, showing it and displaying it on our image frame where we're going to use the mp drawing utilities that were set up earlier here in the program so here we're just going to have a for loop that is running through all like the face uh, landmarks so we're just going to type for face landmarks in and then we have the results here where all of the results here is stored and then we're going to set it dot multi because we need the same as up here in the if statement so here we just check if there's any landmarks detected and down here we're actually like going to run through all of the landmarks that we have actually like detected so here we're going to type in multi 
and phase and then landmarks again as we just did uh, up above here so then we're going to go down here and we can actually just try to here to print out the phase landmarks and see what is going on um in in this variable here when we're actually like running through all different kind of landmarks in our detection so we're run, run, run the program here we're actually like going to run this uh, phase mesh detector here so we can see that we're not drawing anything uh yet but if we take out the output here we can actually like see that we're that we get up here all the different kind of like landmark coordinates here uh, that we're detecting in our phase match so now we're going to run through all of all of the, like the landmarks that we're detecting and then we're going to display them as well here on our image so we can actually like see the whole phase match that we're detecting but right now we're just printing out all the landmarks here uh, to our output or terminal so after we've printed out the phase landmarks here that we're actually detecting, we can just comment it out here as well because now we just want to display the phase meshes or like the phase landmarks that we're detecting in the image frame instead of just printing them out to the terminal or to our output. So we'll go down here and use the MP drawing utilities that we set up earlier. So we're going to use MP underscore drawing and then we're going to call this method here that is called draw landmarks. So this is the function or like a method that we're actually like going to use to actually like draw the landmarks. And then we just have some configuration that we need to set up here. So first of all, we need to pass in uh, the image where we want to actually like draw the landmarks on. And then we're going to specify uh, the landmark list here as well. So we're going to have this landmark underscore underscore list here. And then we're going to set that equal to the face landmarks. So this is the, all the landmarks that we're detecting in our image frame. And this is what we're running through uh, our for loop here in our multi-phase uh, landmarks. So when we've done that, we can actually just go down here to the next line and, and do some other different kind of configurations. So we also need to, to specify like the connections here that we're going to use. So we're going to specify here connections and then we're going to set the connections equal to the MP underscore uh, face mesh that we're using. And then we're going to set a dot here and then we can actually have something called face connections. So this is the way that we're going to connect the actual like face landmarks that we're, that we're, <clears throat> that we're detecting in our image frames. So we're just going to type here face uh, connections. And then we also have, have another uh, specification here where we have where we are going to specify the drawing specifications that we specified up here at the top as well. So now we're going to pr uh, to put this here into the method as well. So the drawing specs here with the thickness of one and also the, the radius of the circle uh, for the landmarks that we're detecting. So if we go down here again, we can now specify uh, our landmark, our landmark underscore drawing underscore specs. So the specification for drawing our landmarks. And we're going to set that equal to the drawing specs that we specified up above that I just showed you. And the last thing here that we're going to specify is the connection uh, drawing specs. So how we can actually like um, connect these different kind of like sport, uh, drawing specifications that we specified as well. And we're just going to set that equal to the same thing as up here. So I'm just going to write in here connection underscore drawing underscore specification. And then we're going to set that equal to drawing spec. Uh, as up above here and now we actually like have all the things here that we need to set up to actually like be able to draw the landmarks that we're detecting in our face mesh so if we now run the program here we're actually like going to load in the image from our webcam we're going to pass it through this machine learning solution here that is going to detect the, the face landmarks and then we just set up this drawing here to actually like draw the landmarks that we're detecting in our image frame so if we run, us, run the program here, we're actually like going to see that we're now detecting a face match here in the image from our webcam. So we can see if I'm moving around here, it tracks my face really good because we have this, uh, uh, this tracking coefficient or like this tracking uh, confidence of 0 0.5. So we can play, play around with these parameters if we get some false positives um, and stuff like that. But we can see that it is tracking my face around like really good. We have some really nice and cool features and landmarks around my face. We can see like around my mouth here, there's really nice details around the mouth here and also the nose and also the eyes here. So we can use that information to do a lot of different kind of stuff. We get some other different kind of landmarks here like around, uh, around like the chin and stuff like that. So it's a really nice and cool face mist that we're actually like detecting with this media pipe solution here. Uh, for, like this uh, machine learning solution here where we just load in our image from the webcam we pass it through this machine learning method here uh, and then we're going to just draw the different kind of detections that we actually like uh, detecting with these landmarks here and then we just display it we get a really nice and high uh, f frames per second in this case here we get around like 100 frames per second and this is just a common or like a standout cpu that we're running on so like all these different kind of machine learning solutions they can both run like on raspberries embedded systems they can even run in in like web applications and stuff like that so we don't need any gpus and stuff like, and, and stuff like that or like hardware accelerators to actually like be able to run these different kind of machine learning solutions 
So this is a really nice and cool uh, uh, landmark detector or like face mask detector that we can use for a lot of different kind of things. And then later on in this tutorial here that we, that we now have started with this media pipe uh, module here, we're going to combine all of these things here that we're, that we're going to set up. We're going to play around with them, like create some different kind of projects um, and stuff like that by using these uh, point clouds or like face meshes here that we're actually like detecting in our image. We can also do some hand hand detection where we're detecting like all of the, all the fingers and stuff like that. And we can play around with like, what are we doing with the fingers, create some different kind of applications and stuff, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this review here, guys. We've been over like how we can set up this face mask detector here, how we can load in our image, use this media pipe machine learning solution here. We've just processed our image with that. We convert our image back and forth between uh, RGB and PGR, and then we're using OpenCV to actually like draw our images as well. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future, because it just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. So I'm currently also doing this uh, deep learning tutorial where we're going over the basic stuff in, in deep learning, uh, neural networks and stuff like that. If you want to learn how to create neural network from scratch and create like sort of, sort of like some of these different kind of machine learning solutions here uh, with convolution neural network, where we're actually like going to create a convolution neural network from scratch, have some data set with some images that we're going to train our neural network on. And then we're going to do predictions and look at the training results and stuff like that on images that our neural network hasn't seen before. So we're going to do some classification problems and stuff like that. So it's a really nice and cool uh, tutorial as well. And we're going to combine that with this computer vision tutorial here as well. And also we can also like kind of see it here in this media pipe solution uh, module here where they're using computer vision together with deep learning, machine learning to create these really, uh, really optimized, well optimized machine learning solutions that we can run different kind of like applications on face meshes, face detections, uh, hand detection, holistic detection, 3D object detection, and so on. And we're going to see all of it, but I'll link to the deep learning tutorial up here or else I'll just see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.